if you are a man that um average to a slightly above average aesthetic works for you i am not your woman right i'm not because i am for a man who values probably nine out of ten times when we walk into the room you've probably got the prettiest lady on your on your arm yeah, yeah. Welcome to Bariam Babs. I'm your host, Vale Chikuni. We begin. Uh, Ebony Williams right here. Okay, she was on um, uh, Smith. Let's listen in. Somebody asked me a question and I brought up a strong seven. And I said, if you're a man out there and you want to be happy, you want a strong seven. The 10, no, she's a 10. It's too much drama. Okay, the nine thinks she's a 10. That's too much drama. The eight already knows that she's probably a nine. So even though it's not as much oh, drama, it it's still going to cause you some issues. But the seven, the strong seven, yeah. knows that she's beautiful enough. She's smart enough. She brings enough to the table. Mm -hmm. But in the same breath, her ego is not out of control to the point where it will force your mm -hmm. ego uh -huh. to infiltrate the proceedings and nothing gets accomplished. Mm -hmm. That was my argument for, for strong seven. Ebony K. Williams, was I correct in my assessment? I, 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 where is it? I vehemently agree with the strong seven argument. I'm but you vehemently why. what? I vehemently agree. Agree. That the strong agree. seven is best positioned. I'll go further. She's best positioned, Stephen A., um, to partner with uh, the, the, I don't want to say average. People get mad when I say average or mediocre. You know, they get real mad. Yeah, yeah, um, <laughs> she's best positioned to partner <laughs> with the majority of available. How about that? How about majority that? of available men. And, and it's for all the reasons you said. And I actually identified this um, in my early 20s, like coming out of law, coming out of um, law school. And I realized that some of the things that, that myself and my uh, female counterparts um, were priding ourselves on, mm -hmm. um, being really, really well educated, being mm -hmm. very well accomplished, um, being pretty, but like pretty in a way that society deems is particularly valuable because we know there's actual pretty and then there's kind of marketability, mm -hmm. if you will, like the kind of objective standard. And those things really just did not translate on the dating marketplace. And imagine how perplexed some of us were. Mm -hmm. uh, but I, I said to my girlfriends long ago, I said, y'all, all of this nines and tens, um, we might be in that space, even eights. Um, it, it's not going to serve us the competitive advantage when it relates to our sisters, who I'm even going to say six and sevens. Mm -hmm. Why? Because you got to really look at what the market, we're talking about, um, and this is through a hetero lens, of course, this is what men want. What do men really want, Stephen? I'm going to yeah. say some things, and I want you to confirm sure, what you're sure, not. Sure. I'll, I'll do that for you. I'll I do, do that for I you. Really, I really invite I'm, that. I'm ready. I'm ready. I, I think men want um, to be affirmed. I yes. think men want energy that is agreeable. I think men mm. want, generally speaking, generally speaking general, yes. this is all general. Generally, generally speaking, I yes. think men want women who are available. And what I mean by that is their schedules, their literal schedules. When I pull out my phone and you pull out yours, mm -hmm. I, I, it's not three weeks. Oh, we're not taking it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This we ain't can, boomerang with Eddie Murphy. Oh, we ain't, we, you're, not, you're not putting us on the waiting list. Uh, we wait, we, oh, we don't need you. We don't June. need you. Oh, it ain't happening. <laughs> it ain't happening. No, you're absolutely so, right. So, right. So, some of these are the things that men are most desirous of. And, and no, you can't be so unattractive that you get kicked out the bed, let's right, be clear. Right. But, but as long as you are, you said it pretty enough, mm -hmm. attractive enough, those other things are going to supersede in terms of what the man wants. Um, now, I will say this as somebody, I'm just going to give myself eight and above. I'm going to just do that. You should. I'm going to just do that. I, I co-sign that. Okay. I co-sign co that. I co -sign okay. That. Um, I believe that most of, I'll speak for myself. All right. <laughs> you see her story, everything, wherever she's coming from. Okay. So she has this picture of what men want. Okay. Like, to be quite honest, ladies, the most thing that men want is just, like, respect, okay? Men wants to be, like, they want to be honored, they want to be respected. These are just the basic things the man is just going to, those two, they're going to appreciate it, and they, that's it, okay? Women, you know, there's so many things that we do desire and everything. But be that as it may, okay? Uh, you know, I don't know, I mean, he went to Stephen A. Smith, whatever, looks like they're cool with each other. So... She has created this framework, okay? Like, okay, men want a woman who is available. Okay, so if that is your man, if that is your husband, what is keeping you busy to be available for your man? What are you doing? That is your priority, okay? But she doesn't want to prioritize that. Why? Because she's busy uh, building her career. She wants to be, to be able to do everything else that she wants to do and then keep a man. Guys, men are just not going to do that, okay? That's so why you're going to have like a, a 80 year old man is out there, you can find a 30 year old woman and they're just fine, okay? A 20 year old man and they're just fine. <laughs> I think that's how God humbled us women. <laughs> I think God just used that to humble women, okay? So, uh, to me, 
this idea that she's out there like, okay, you know, you, whatever I seven, whatever eight, this is the Andrew Tate. This is what this, the, these people do. But that's not, you know, Ebony, she's 40 years old. Okay. You are 40 years old. She's very successful. So to me, I'm like, okay. All the time that she was doing, like, you know, she was in school, she was building her career. I find it hard to believe that there were no men in her life. I'm sure they were there, but her priority were just all over the place. Now she's looking at it like, okay, you know what? At the very least, at least let me just have a baby. But let me just go get uh, a donation so she can be in full control of that child, okay? So she can co shots with that child. But to me, I'm like, okay, so... So who is going to protect the child? You need a father to protect the child, okay? But she thinks she can do it. Oh, that's not how it works, okay? If that's the case, then there was no need for, uh, for Adam to be there in the first place. She's going to give birth in that delivery room. She's just going to be by herself. Like, I mean, all the things, okay? Like at night, sometimes you don't want to get up. Who's going to help you, uh, you know, take care of that baby? Like when you're sick, there's so many things that you do need that partner for. Why are you being so selfish to let the child grow up without a father intentionally? It's, uh, it's very unfortunate, guys. But, you know, this is uh, where we are at. So let's listen in to some more to watch uh, to the things that she's telling us. Here we go. I am acutely aware, Stephen A., of the adjustments mm -hmm. that I would need to make um, in order to be more desirable mm -hmm. on the dating market. Um, well, may I ask one of those adjustments? Oh, well, you I mean, know. I mean, I'm, just, I'm just asking. I'm just, I, mean, you know. I mean, you, you brought it up. I did. You, you, you did say it you would be, you, it would be, it would be, some of, aware. it would be some of the things we mentioned, right? Like right. I, I would, I would need to make more time, mm -hmm. you know, uh, you know, I have a, I can imagine what your schedule looks like. Right. Mine might not look, it doesn't look identical, but it's probably not far off at this okay. point. I tape a show on the West coast. I take, last time I saw you, where were we? Yeah, in the we're air. Flying, flying back we were literally in flying the air. We were 30,000 feet in the air. That's right. So, so there's a bi-coastal lifestyle issue that I think would need some attention if I was to really get serious about trying to partner right now. Um, there is an intensity that I, I'm, I'm a very serious minded woman, right? right? I deal with serious issues. Yeah, on you a can't daily be with, basis. A, a dingbat can't be with you. He ain't, it ain't gonna work. <laughs> he got to have some level of intellect. He don't have a chance. I mean, and honestly, right. even if I wanted to give him a chance, which I have done historically, don't tell nobody, um, <laughs> I, I really wouldn't be as attracted. There's something about the attraction. Mm -hmm. You know, if, if you, there's a primalness to, mm -hmm. you know, especially when you talk about heterosexual men and women, there's a primalness to how we are attracted to one another. And in order for me, who still very much, despite my intensity and my intellect and all this, you know, kind of mm. what we would consider masculine alpha right. shit. Right, excuse me, I don't right. know if I can cuss on here. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Um, I'm still very, you've known me for a long time. You've known me almost 10 years today. Right. Um, I am still very much, um, very feminine, mm -hmm. very soft in many ways, and mm -hmm. very, I'm still like a, a Southern belle mm -hmm. in a lot of capacities. I'm, right. I'm born and raised in North Carolina. Let's go. So those things still, that, that receptacle energy is still very real for me. Mm -hmm. So now I need a masculine energy that can um, just almost overperform. And you know what it is too, if Please. I may say this right now. Women need to know this. Women I, need to know I, I, I this. Okay. So. All right, first, first of all, Okay, so before Stephen A uh, chimes in, so she, did you hear what she said, right? She has acknowledged that in order for her to be able to attract a man, she needs to do some adjustment. But according to her own self, like, you know what? I, I'm too busy. I, I, I'm taping in the East Coast, in the West Coast. I'm doing all these other things. So she doesn't have time for a man. So she's not even willing to give those things up. Okay, because guys... It's things, good things are going to cost you, okay? Good things are going to cost you in life. That's just how it works. You used to, uh, you know, just get up and go, right? When you were single, now you're married, you can't do those things anymore. Now you have kids, other people are depending on you. Like, there are just certain things you just can't do anymore. So if she desires those things, she knows that she has to do an attitude adjustment, then why don't you just do that? Why can't you just do that? But it's this idea, always wanting to be on top, always wanting to be a boss baby. Because if you have to be a boss baby, you have to maintain that, okay? Now, if you just want a man as an add-on, guy, I'm telling you, okay? She's a beautiful woman. But guys can just say that will be like, oh, no, thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. No, thank you. Now she's out here. Be like, okay, fine. I might as well just go get some donation uh, for, uh, for my future baby. I know? Like, yeah, this, this is the fruit that she has put herself, right? Because she wants to keep everything else and then just add a man as a cherry on top. Who wants to be a cherry on top? Who wants to be a cherry on top? So like the scripture is clear, like we have, uh, 
you know, like you have a foolish woman in scripture, okay? That's what you're going to find in Proverbs. You're going to find a rebellious woman in scripture. You're going to find a quarrelsome woman in scripture. Then you're going to find a wise woman, a Proverbs 31 woman, okay? So which one do you want to be? Huh? So like, you know, you're out there, you know, a foolish woman. Like, remember, like, you know, when the, the Bible used the term foolish, it's not like how we use over here, right? It's just, you are just, <laughs> you're... It's not the foolishness that we mean here. I don't know. I can't find a way to use it over here, like on YouTube. But be that as it may, right? It's this idea of seeking independence, okay? Independence. This is exactly, it all stems from Eve, okay? You want to be independent. You want to go out there, do whatever you want, right? Like, oh, but did God really say, okay? Oh, you see what I'm saying? Be like, okay, did God really say? And then like, you know, she's starting wondering, right? Because the devil is asking him, like, are you sure? Is this what God said? Okay, just put those seeds right there. So a man is going to be, are you sure, Ebony, you need a man? Of all these things that you got going on, you know a man is going to slow you down. That's it. That's all it takes. That's all it takes. You don't need much. Okay, so uh, listen some more. Okay, oh, good to see you, Brick Swinger. Long time. Good to see you. All right, so let's listen into some more to the things that she's telling us. You got to allow mm -hmm. a man to be a man. Here's what I mean by that. Please. You have a lot of women out there who don't want to be, quote unquote, objectified. You don't want a man looking at you and he desires what he sees. This is what they say a lot. of. That's them. what they say. That's what they say. And I'm going like this. So you want him not to desire what he's looking at when he looks at you? What kind of sense does that make? And not only that, don't get it wrong. He don't need to be classless. He don't no, need to approach you and I, be too like forward. That. Let me just be clear, whoever's right. listening, that's not my issue. Right. You know this about that's me, right. I think. Yes, I, I pride, I'm a pageant queen, for God's sake. Right. I pride myself on one of the things, in fact, there are also men, since we're going to do this, right. that um, that pretty stuff don't mean that much to them. Right. It's just don't. It's like, it's like you say, pretty enough, that's fine. If you are a man that um, average to a slightly above average aesthetic works for you, I am not your woman. Right. I'm not. Because I am for a man who values probably nine out of ten times when we walk into the room, you've probably got the prettiest lady on your on your arm. Yeah. yeah. And that doesn't mean But you can pull that, that off. Right. I can't hold point. most women accountable that's for that because most point. of them can't pull it off like that. I understand. And th those right. are the but you asked me what adjustments sure. would I make? Right. Those are some of the adjustments. I would then I would consider men because I know that's one of my it's like cards. You know, you know your strong mm. suit. Right. That's one of my strong suits. But where I was going was this. <laughs> I wasn't just talking about I didn't yeah. mean objectified in a literal sense. I'm mm. talking about you being a guy, yeah. you coveting what you see, you wanting to be turned on yeah. by your significant other, you wanting to feel as if you're you're married, but you want to feel like you felt when you were dating. You don't oh, want to yeah. feel like, you don't want to feel like monotony and mundaneness and step is kicked in, and you're just going through the regular regular world of life, and it's devoid of excitement, suspense, intrigue, or whatever word might be yeah, appropriate. It better in that be regard, you because if it's, it's not it's, you, it's, it's going to be somebody else. somebody else. Yeah. So I I think that is an issue on its own, and right. that's on an island. I think for more women like myself and how I'm describing these eighth and above, right. we got that part. Most of us, right. in terms of we're going to make you. Um, that that attraction piece is something that we're going to put energy into because right. we know that's how we got you. Right. Right. OK. Um, I think it's the intensity. I think it's the constant. OK. One of the best things I think about me, Stephen, a., as a friend, um, as a romantic partner, as a daughter, even to my mother. If you are interested in being the very best version of yourself, I'm a very good person to have in your life. Yes. Because you'll push it. I'm going to push you. You'll push it. I'm going to push you. Right. Everybody don't like to be pushed. Mm -hmm. And I don't think in the romantic context, I'm, I've learned in real time, that it is super appreciated from your romantic mm -hmm. partner. But the other part to that is yeah. knowing when. Like, for example, yeah, right. okay. you got to know, because as a man, mm -hmm. what we value is when you know us and we don't have to tell you. You've been around us long mm -hmm. enough. You figured this out. You didn't just spend moments enjoying us. Mm -hmm. You actually studied us, got mm -hmm. to know us, have a mastering of us to some degree where we don't have to tell you. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. you might, you, you know when we want to go out. You know when we're not interested in going out. You mm -hmm. know when we want to get down. You know when we don't want to. You have an idea mm -hmm. of who he is without him having to tell you because it tells him you've paid attention to what works for him, which elevates his level of faith in you mm -hmm. that you will ultimately figure things out and you Y'all will flow along more smoothly than not. I love that. And I think that most women um, need, to, need to spend more time with that figuring out piece. And I would also declare, Brother Stephen A. Smith, that the... <laughs> oh, wow, man. <laughs> oh, man. Gosh. I, this, this is just too much. Okay. So, I don't know. Obvious. This is the way you want to be getting your relationship advice, to be quite honest with you. Okay. So this lady, okay, I mean, she's beautiful. That's not even like, a, we're not even questioning that. 
Okay? But what do we hear in the scripture? Proverbs said 130, right? Charm is deceitful and beauty is vain. But a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. Give her all the fruit of her hands and let her wakes praise her in the gates. Okay? So she's putting forward that, you know, hey, if we walk in the room, then like, you know, that man will actually have one of the prettiest ladies in the room. Okay? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Those are true. What happens when you have wrinkles? Is that man going to still walk in that room and have the prettiest woman uh, in the room? What happens when you're in the 50s, when you're 60s, right? So this is the thing. Like the, the things that they are prioritizing, this is, it's vain things, okay? So you need to be able to have a person like, okay, you know what I'm saying? I appreciate this person. I love this person. Even if, uh, you know, even if they have wrinkles. They might not even have wrinkles. Like you might have an accident, Okay, you might have an accident whereby, you know, your, your face is disfigured. What then? What then? You still going to sail with that person or you're going to leave them? So when you fall in love with things that are perishable like that, you are heading for a disaster. Okay, like you want to fall in love with somebody because of the values or whatever they have. Okay, their inner beauty. The scripture even tells us, right? We, it's the inner beauty, not the outward beauty. Okay? Because the inner thing is not going to change. That inner thing is not going to go away. It's still going to be there. It's still going to be there. But this, no wonder, this is, uh, you know, this is what we are hearing. This is what we are seeing over here. So, yeah. So, to me, I'm like, okay, so even if all these things are true about you, then why did you find yourself going to go get donations? Okay? Why didn't you just pick one of those guys? Hello? I'm just saying out here. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. The chief complaint that I know I felt in my relationship, because this is the problem. I've never had a problem attracting men. I, I believe you believe that. I believe that. Okay. I believe that. Um, what I find has happened historically is that men are very attracted, uh, not just to the aesthetic, but also even to, we'll call it the resume, right? They, mm -hmm. they, they like what it looks like, what it presents like. Mm -hmm. And then they actually get to know me. And they realize they love, they, they, they actually are fans, right. if I can just be totally honest with you. Okay. They're fans. They respect it. Um, they look up to it. Mm -hmm. Oftentimes, it's something they find aspirational. Mm -hmm. But they don't really know how to engage in it in a on a daily basis. Oh, but you know why that is, right? Please tell me. Because you're not a fool. Mm -hmm. Your level of intellect, mm -hmm. your principled position, right the there. combination of the two things. There's yeah. certain things yeah. dudes just ain't getting away with. <laughs> and if you run across a woman that it is clear as day, you got no shot at getting away with the nonsense. Yeah. You're like, damn, mm -hmm. path of easiest resistance. Yeah. More men than not, not yeah, all not men, all. but more men than not I think that's will right. take a path of easiest resistance. And I, and I don't fault them. That's why what you don't hear me doing is being on these uh, YouTube streets and Instagram streets complaining about it. Mm. I recognize right. that um, because I choose that principal position, and this right. is the same ailment, if you will, Stephen A., that I suffer professionally. Right. You know, there's, there's, there's shows that you know I've... Yes. Been in the ring for That's that, right. uh, you know, some people in this room didn't know. That's right. I ain't gonna say nothing. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's true. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, because of that principal thing, you know, it, my, my, my mom get mad about it. She's like, girl, you know how much money you leave on the table with them damn principals? <laughs> but, and, and she's not wrong. She's not wrong. And how many men? Uh, might be on the table, so to speak. To your point, I, I believe you're 100% correct, but I, I just got to, this is where my faith kicks in, mm -hmm. you know, just to kind of wrap it on up. This is where I believe what God has for me is for me and it will never miss me. I truly believe that. Not a job, not a show, and not a divine life partner right. that man is out there all right guys that is all that i had for you guys today i hope you find this to be informative to you be sure to subscribe to my channel follow me on instagram facebook and x until next time remember to be in the know thank you